Hello Team Pisces, it's Empire333 here with your love reading. Welcome back and welcome if you're new. If you're new, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter placements. Pick whichever side you're on. We're going to go into two people's energies and if others come up, then that's what it is. So we'll get into that. First, we're going to do the Oracle and then we'll get into Tarot. By the way, Pisces, I'm doing a free reading contest if you're interested. Pay attention to the direct, uh, directions and follow them at the end of this video. <laughs> I keep getting tongue-tied. I think I've had too much caffeine so far. But I don't know. We'll see. So first, I'm going to start out with the Psychic Tarot of the Heart. All the um, decks I use are down below, so check them out if you are interested. All right, so first thing we're getting here is um, this is the devil energy and this is the three of swords, okay? So don't freak out, but I feel like you're coming out of this. So you're coming out of, you know, disappointment, heartache, and you're also coming out of a toxic phase in your life. So I feel like what's happening here is that as you're healing your heart space, because this is a three of swords in the traditional Rider weight tarot, okay? And this is a devil, like I said, okay? So some of you could be dealing with a Capricorn. I just want to throw that out there. I don't like throwing out signs, but it could be. But the thing here is that you're moving out of this energy. So if you were going through a phase of, you know, heartbreak and... Um, so what, what Spirit is saying is that you're healing your heart now, okay? So you're coming out of... This and you're also coming out of the devil energy where this person, some of you felt like this person has a hold on you. Okay, it's like you couldn't, no matter what you try to do, and um, this is what I want to say for some of you, I'm getting like a soulmate energy. So it's even like if you were trying to avoid this person or you weren't seeing each other or talking or whatever, I feel like their energy was pulling at you. Okay, and that's why it was so hard to come out of this heartbreak and kind of like, um, how should I say it? There is an unhealthy, there's unhealthy cords attached to this person and you, okay? It's, it's karmic. And um, this is not karmic as in, you know, the person or whatever. I don't even believe in that. But this is like... You felt such a um, pull to this person that it it got out of hand and it got unhealthy for you, okay? But you're moving past this. Whatever you're doing, Pisces or Cross Watchers, whichever side you're on, I feel like you're really releasing all this pain, the codependency, the feeling of I need this person in my life. It's kind of like some of you felt so... Um, overwhelmed with this person's energy like you're like I'm, I try to get away but I can't something pulls me back in and you're moving out of that energy which is beautiful okay because um, here you are okay and we got the animal spirit cards here okay this is the turtle energy which is you're learning okay to ground yourself you're learning you're some of you are doing some sort of cleansing rituals I have to say is what um, is coming up and you're learning a lesson like a very valuable lesson throughout this connection okay you're learning how to go within and realize your true self okay because I feel like during this connection what happened is like this person's energy took over and you lost control of you know, your power, you felt powerless in the situation, you felt like this person has control over you, and it's kind of like you lost yourself, okay? But now as you're moving out of this heartbreak and disappointment and codependent, unhealthy attachment, I feel like some of you were like, I just need this person in my life, I just need them, you know? And it was so hard for you to break away the unhealthy patterns. It doesn't mean that you still don't love this person, it doesn't mean you know, for some of you that you still don't want this person, but it's the unhealthy attachment that you are releasing and you're releasing the past heartache too. And that's why it's like you're going within, you're realizing your true self, okay? And you're thinking, okay, I'm learning a valuable lesson here. And this, uh, what they're saying, Spirit is saying is that the lesson you're learning now 
is such a valuable lesson for you to take to all your relationships, okay? So you're learning something that's of value. You're learning something that's going to shape your future now as you come out of the Three of Swords and the Devil energy, okay, Pisces? So let's get into the tarot for a person's energies. This is the Illuminati deck I will be using for the first person's energy. Beautiful. I love this for you. Whatever you're doing, whatever type of healing you're doing, Pisces, let me know in the comments down below, okay? what you're doing because I'm really happy for whoever's coming out of that energy I'm getting goosebumps spirit says you're doing a great job for whoever is focusing on healing I don't know I'm getting cleansing rituals so it could be you're taking spiritual baths <coughs> excuse me okay so let's see whoa okay Hmm. All right. yep. so Pisces here we go so what we this person here it's like this is what I want to say with, with your person's energies it's like they have a lot of strong feelings for you this person could have love for you too but the thing is is this person blocks off their emotions okay they have an issue with their emotions they have an issue with expressing themselves their emotions are all over the place they do not know how to process them okay which means that every time things are going to get deep with both of you they lock down it's like emotional lockdown okay and this person keeps repeating this this pattern this behavior um it's been going on for a long time and i feel like it really hurts you and it throws you off balance because it's like you know the cups are here but the issue is it's not being um, verbalized. It's not being shown. This person has issues with showing you the love they have for you. And that's why they go into like a, a lockdown, okay? And this keeps repeating. However, I have to say this person does want to be with you, okay? This is a temperance card here. Um, this is about... You know, you both knowing that deep down inside, no matter what took place, you both love each other. Okay, there is love here. And the thing is that the issue is of balancing out emotions. So what I feel like what's happening here is that this person um, shuts down their emotions and it confuses you. It throws you off balance because this is also balance. Okay. Okay. And it throws your balance off, okay? So what's happening here is like they want to get back together. They want reconciliation, but they have to work on that, the emotional expression, um, showing their love, not locking down like they've done. And that's why we have healing here because this person truly needs healing, okay? For some of you... Um, I feel like your person could have had some sort of addiction in the past. And what Spirit is saying, this is not for all of you, right? This is not going to resonate with every Pisces or a cross watcher on planet Earth, right? But your person has had some type of an addiction in the past. And it's kind of um, really, um, how should I say this? led to them emotionally closing down, okay? So it could have been, you know, um, drugs. It could have been alcoholism or something like that. Um, you know what the addiction is, Pisces. But the thing is, is that what's happening is that even though the person could be sober right now, it's like, it's it kind of is like a pattern. Um, how should I say this? Spirit, help me out. Because that person used to numb themselves, okay, basically they would numb their emotions. They didn't focus on um, healing in the past, so they basically numb themselves with whatever substances, okay. So now it's like they're not taking those substances. I feel like your person did recover, they're in, or they're in recovery is what they're saying, or they're sober, but... <clears throat> They still, they still don't know how to process their emotions. So what they were doing is just burying their emotions, okay? 
and now even though they're sober they're still in that um it's kind of like a um, natural instinct for them to shut down their emotions okay your person needs to focus on their healing that's what they want to do it's like they want to do that they know the way they are they know they're difficult they know that they go into bouts of ignoring you and like trying to sneak away because the emotions are getting deep and they don't know how to handle it with you okay i'm gonna get into the, the other person's energy which is tarot You know what? I feel like somebody else got a similar. Was it Sag? I don't know. Hold on, guys. Okay, this card kept on coming out. Okay, I'll show you guys in a second, but let's start with this. So what's happening here, um, Pisces, is that for the longest time, I feel like because your person has held back their emotions, you've held them back too, okay? We got the same energy. I think it was it for Sag. Or Gemini, I don't know. But anyways, check those out if you have other placements. This is a, like you, okay, this is like your person emotionally shutting down and then you're like, okay, you're like um, minimizing your feelings. You're minimizing the way you express yourself. So it's like you feel like you're trying to control yourself because your person is closing off the emotions. Then it's like you're mimicking what they're doing, okay? And you're doing that to protect yourself, to protect your heart. But in the meantime, it's like you still got hurt, you know? It's like your emotions run really deep for this person, but because they were shutting down, you were copying them, okay? And it didn't work out that way, obviously, because I feel like both of you just kind of somehow called it quits, okay? Whatever, it depends on your situation. This is not a personal reading, but... You here are just holding back right now, which you're doing a great thing. I feel like you're connecting to your ancestors, okay, and spirit. And you're trying to look at the situation from a higher perspective. I feel like you're not making any moves because you know um, your person needs help, okay, and you need the healing too. Both of you need healing in order to make this, con this, you know, continue this connection or to transform the dynamics of this connection. So you're holding back too. And um, even though your person, your person wants to get back with you, that's for sure. They want a reconciliation, but you're holding back because you're working on yourself. And you know that right now with whatever was going on, you can't trust this person, okay? You're like, okay, may I? yes, I do want to be with this person. For some of you, you are saying that. Let me know in the comments, Pisces. Do you want to be with this person? Because I feel like the ones that do want to be with this person are like, I can't trust them. I have to, you know, go within, um, connect to my intuition, connect to my higher self, okay? And, um really figure out how I can rebuild the trust from this person that I've lost, okay? And this card, Justice, kept coming out, okay? Some of you are waiting for an apology from this person. You're like, I just want to know the truth. I just want to know, oh, okay. So some of you could have felt this person has someone else that was maybe sneaking out on you or something is what I just got. But regardless, you want an apology from this person because some of you, this person did put you through a lot of pain, a lot of instability. It's like heartache. Um, yeah, I'm getting a lot of... Um, Okay. Yeah, so you're now, you just want balance. You, that's what you want. You want the truth. You want an apology. Some of you are waiting for an apology. Let's get back into the other person's energy. Okay. Whoa, okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa.
See, your person knows that they were in and out of your life whenever they pleased, okay? See, we got the prince. These are the knights, okay? So this person could have been in and out of your life. They could have been coming and going whenever they pleased. They were very charming at times, I have to say. And the thing is, is that this person is going through a, a hard karmic cycle that they need to close out and spirit is helping them okay but the thing is is that the chapter needs to close and you know what this also has to do with chapters closing okay this is a cycle in your life that is coming to an end so what i feel like is this your person um, you have felt in the past that they're immature with their energies. You might have even felt like you were used in the past. But this is all coming to an end. Spirit is saying it's wrapping up because it's time. Because um, we got the world card here. So this is going to end. This kind of thing of them coming in and out of your life. And they know that now. They have realized that, you know what? Like, I want to be back with Pisces, but things have, th that kind of energy has to end, you know, um, and I know that I need to be the one that ends it, because it's like, they feel like they're, they want to take the rap for that, you understand, Pisces, they know that what, how they were treating you was not cool, um, to say the least, okay, <clears throat> yeah, Yeah, uh-huh, okay. So this here has a lot to do with this person here, okay? Pisces, I'm just going to say it like it's you. You felt very neglected by this person. You felt left out in the cold. Some of you, your feelings have become cold over time. And this has a lot to do with forgiveness. So I feel like some of you are waiting for an apology to really forgive this person. You want it in person is what I'm getting, okay? But this has a lot to do with your issues too of being um, <clears throat> alone for some of you. And some of you, what I'm getting is neglect that stems from childhood. So maybe in your family structure, you felt neglected or you felt like people were not paying attention to you when they were supposed to. Maybe your parents or whoever raised you okay so that is playing a role and the thing is is that um you have to forgive someone within yourself okay and not base it off a condition of if they're apologizing to you or not because forgiveness has to do with you it doesn't have to do with the person okay so i that's why i feel like you've been you're getting cold and also though we got this this devil card again which is amazing because you're coming out of this energy this toxicity and what i feel like is like your person in the past could have you know really this is a seven of swords energy you're just like i'm just coming out of this right now and some of you are feeling cold towards your person but your person wants reconciliation they think that <clears throat> you guys could make it work. Yep. So I feel like for some of you, you both are looking at things from a higher perspective. They just had me pull another card for your person, which is the hangman energy, which you both are in. You both are holding back from each other. Although your person does want to come back together. Okay. But this kind of energy that you're moving out of is amazing. I love it. It's like it's going to help you forgive the person, forgive and let go of the past and these ugly energies that you've experienced with this person, this tox toxicity. Um, I feel like the cycles are coming to an end and I feel like it's because of you also, Pisces, or whoever this is. You're healing. You are doing everything you're supposed to be doing. I just feel like for some of you, don't put a condition on forgiveness okay because forgiveness is unconditional okay i hope you all understand that and i know forgiveness is hard okay i'm not saying just forgive them and in a day or whatever it is a journey okay but you're 
as you do that, your heart is also healing. As you're releasing this <clears throat> deceit energy, this toxic energy, your heart is healing too, is what they're saying. With, through the forgiveness, okay? So don't wait for an apology. And I'm not saying you don't deserve an apology. You do, okay? You do. Spirit just said, you do. And they keep repeating that. You do deserve an apology. What they're saying is that <clears throat> forgive. It, to set yourself free is what they're saying. To set yourself free, forgive. Okay? Because when it comes to karmic cycles, it's like, they're hard, man. I swear. <laughs> like, they are so hard. And I feel like whatever this person did was very karmic to you. Okay? So this is the Power of Love cards. Let's see what else is going on here, Pisces. Okay, integrity. All right. Oh, wow, we got a lot of stuff for you. All right, we got acceptance. You are ready to re release control of situations or people and lovingly embrace the rhythm of life. It's like you know you have to release the past energy of this person in order for you to go with the flow of love, okay? Okay. Because right now you feel stuck. A lot of you feel stuck. But you're you're going to come out of this, Pisces, okay? The other thing is self-love. You realize that love of self is necessary to love another. So practice self-love. And also, um, we got integrity. You demonstrate the truth and honesty of your soul and manifest love with every action. So this also has to do with what you want. Some of you possibly could have not expressed what it is you really want in this connection with this person whatever it is okay and although you want integrity from them it's like integrity is like honesty um <clears throat> what's another word for it ah uh, my mind just stopped for a second okay look it up guys google it so this is about you being honest with yourself through self-love, okay? And also this um, friendliness came up. You are able to recognize traits in common with another in order to forge love-based connections. So one thing I'm getting for some of you is that this person is emotionally locked down. They have issues with expression. It could be you do too, okay? And that's why Spirit is saying that practice integrity, Okay, um, cause you're you're seeing like the cop the copy, a ref a sort of reflection. It's not the same thing. Okay, I'm not talking about lying. I'm talking about this person not expressing themselves to emotionally, like in a verbal way. Okay, is what I'm saying. Like they don't show you how they feel about you, kind of thing, or they don't tell you how they feel about you. So it could be. You didn't tell this person what you want in a connection, what it is that you are looking for, what it is that you expect in a relationship. You could have been holding that information back for some of you, okay? So see how the scenario is in both of how you express yourself to one another, Pisces, okay? I hope this has helped you, Pisces. If you're interested in the free reading contest, all you have to do is enter um, down below, make a comment, write my channel name, Empire333, like this video, okay, subscribe if you already haven't, turn on all your notification buttons when you hit the bell, okay, and, um, what else, that's it, okay, I'm gonna, ex I'm going to announce the winner next full moon, I wish you all the best, and I'll see y'all soon, take care, bye.